so this this song isn't on the album, but it's one I what it's one I wrote for the record. Um, and I've actually never recorded it. Oh, wow. Um, special. But the song is called Westward, oh, and this wow. is where I got the. This is when I started writing for the record. This is one of the first songs I wrote for it. So. Clouds are on fire tonight, sweeping across the navy sky. A neon sun dipping low, can you see from where you are? She left for a story, she left for herself. I wonder if she's lonely, standing in the water. Collecting pink seashells. If I could only be the sun, kiss your shoulders. If I could only be the sand falling at your feet. If I could only be a train rolling westward. Bringing you home to me. Bringing you home to me. Your words ride smooth on the back of the wind. I only care where we go together. I never cared where you've been. Now you're watching me with emerald lightning A flash in your eye I miss you like New Orleans I burn all I own just to see you tonight I can be patient for you And I can go months without talking Lonely nights, heavy and blue, this rain weighs a thousand pounds in my pocket. If I could only be the sun to kiss your shoulder If I could only be the sand falling at your feet If I could only be a train rolling westward Bringing you home to me Bringing you home to me Bringing you home to me. That was, that was the first song I wrote for the album, and uh, but it, but it was there's so many slow songs on the record already. Yeah. Um, but uh, what do you do with songs like that? Like, I got them all stashed away for a rainy day, you know, and just pull them out when it's right, you know. So that was very touching. Thanks. In a sense, I feel like that's the thing with your with your songs is like I, I see them, like I visually see them, and I feel them, and I relate to that. And when yeah. you're talking like that one, you know when girl like falls in love and yeah like it's that whole yeah. it's very touching when you can like relate to it like, yeah shit. when he's like imagining her of like i wonder if she's lonely like you know standing in the water collecting pink seashells it's like you just like oh like there yeah, it's I like boom, boom, boom. i had 
my uncle is a, a big like Nashville guy and um he sings so he sings like high tenor harmonies and he sang on like literally like I think his this year he sent like, something like twenty six thousand albums he sang on and he's like a low key hey man cool like I'm a super fucking millionaire no. like <laughs> you know, but but he's like you know he's but he's in Nashville pop country oh. you know he's in that world so it's like we don't really like he's happy to give advice but he's like I don't you know yeah um so his remember when I first started writing songs and I showed him some stuff um he told me he he said uh he said man he said I like this song but uh he said don't tell me about it paint it for me and I was like wow. and I really like grabbed that one and then um I'll, and then the other good writing advice I had was uh, uh Greg Raleigh that um he was in, he played organ on my record uh on Westward uh but he was in like he played uh played Woodstock he plays he played organ in Santana and I was like he started you know he's in, he's, he sang he's a sing he was a singer in Santana also and then like when he quit Santana he started Journey he started the band Journey and we were at it and it was like so we we became friends and then like we would like really really like argue about songs of like we'd write together and be like no fuck dude fuck you no you it's you're you're no it's not <laughs> happening like and like this stuff and it was but it was like this really like fun and you know kind of we really kind of brought some fire out of each other yeah and i remember i was sitting at his house and like one of our methods that we do when we write is like he just jams he'll just close his eyes and just play he's got a big grand piano he just closes his eyes and it just like starts playing and i'll sit at the piano with a pen and just like i'll write lines down and lines and lines and lines and then we'll just look at all the lines and start piecing things together and uh, i had all these lines and i was like okay what about this melody here da, 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 da. And it was like, I was getting into this like really like flowery language of like, well, what if it was like this? Oh, what if it was like this? And then I think it's supposed to, it's like this long poem where it says this. And he was like, he, I remember he shuts the top of the piano and, and he goes, JT, when the lights go down in the cité, <laughs> he's like, simplify everything. If you want him to sing along, simplify He's like, just make it easy for him. Say what you want to say, but like, you know, when the lights go down in the city. <laughs> yeah, it's the and it was most just, memorable. Yeah. Like lines. When, and it, and I was like, fuck! I was like, you wrote that. <laughs> I was like, and I was like, okay, yeah, remember, you know. And you're like in, you know, and then you're out, he's got like this like bunkhouse where it's a recording studio and stuff. And it's just like it's Journey, Platinum, Santana, like, you know, and then he plays in one of the, I will say one of the coolest things I wish I could have told you about was um, I got a call from him and I missed his call. And um, so he played on four songs on the record. I got, and I missed his call, but he left a voicemail and I was like doing something else. So I like checked the voicemail. And he was like, <clears throat> you hear this like, and he's like, hey, JT, hey, man, we're on the jet. And so he, now he plays for Ringo Starr. He plays organ for in Ringo's band. And he was like, and he was like, and he was like, and he was like, JT, we're on the jet. We're listening to the songs. Ringo loves it. The guys love it. And then, and then, and we hear this, and he's, hey, my God. like, I hear like guy, like voices, like Ringo's voice in the back. And then you hear like other guy, but like their guitar player was like the guy that played guitar, all the lead guitar on Thriller. He played on all these like Quincy Jones records. He was like the, he was in, he, he was like original member of Toto, like just crazy, like. Yeah.